Have you ever wondered what would happen if a meteor the size of a bus hit the Earth tomorrow? A chilling thought, isn't it? But before we delve into the specifics, let's briefly discuss what a meteor is. Imagine a chunk of rock, hurtling through the vast expanse of space at incredible speeds. These celestial bodies vary in size from tiny grains to gigantic asteroids. For the purpose of this thought experiment, our meteor is roughly the size of a city bus. How big is that, you ask? Think of a standard school bus, around 40 feet long, 10 feet wide, and 10 feet high. Pretty sizable, right? Now consider the potential power this bus-sized meteor could carry. It's not just about the size, it's about the velocity. When we're talking about objects moving at cosmic speeds, even something as seemingly small as a bus can pack quite a punch. The results of such an impact would be catastrophic, but how exactly? Let's dive in. Imagine it's a typical day, and then, without warning, a bus-sized meteor crashes into Earth. Let's delve deeper into the moment of the crash. The instant the meteor touches down, the energy release would be phenomenal. Picture it like this. The meteor, traveling at an average speed of about 17,000 miles per hour, would come to an abrupt halt in a split second. The energy of this sudden deceleration would be equivalent to detonating several nuclear bombs. Consequently, a massive crater would form, as the meteor's kinetic energy is converted into an explosive force, pulverizing everything in its path. The size of this crater would depend on a number of factors, but it would likely be several times larger than the meteor itself. In addition to the crater, shock waves would ripple out from the point of impact. These shock waves, similar to the shock waves from a nuclear explosion, would flatten buildings and trees for miles around. They could also trigger earthquakes and volcanic eruptions, adding to the chaos. The heat generated by the impact would be intense. The meteor, due to its high speed and the resistance of the Earth's atmosphere would be superheated, reaching temperatures hotter than the surface of the Sun. This heat would be radiated outwards, igniting everything within a certain radius, possibly starting widespread fires. And then there's the light. The impact would create a flash of light brighter than the Sun, visible for hundreds, maybe even thousands of miles. Anyone looking directly at the impact site could be temporarily or permanently blinded. In the immediate aftermath, a cloud of dust and debris would be launched into the atmosphere, blocking out the sun and casting a large area into darkness. This could last for days or even weeks depending on the size of the meteor and the force of the impact. So the immediate area would be devastated but what about the rest of the world? In the aftermath of the meteor impact, the entire planet would feel the effects. The immediate vicinity of the impact would be a scene of utter devastation, but the aftermath wouldn't stop there. The planet's surface would be blasted with debris, hurtled into the atmosphere with incredible force. This debris wouldn't just fall back to Earth, it would linger, suspended in our atmosphere, creating a thick cloud of dust. Now imagine a day without sunshine. Sounds awful, right? Well, this dust cloud could block out the sun's rays, plunging the Earth into what's known as an impact winter. This sudden drop in temperature wouldn't just be a minor inconvenience, it could disrupt ecosystems, devastate crops, and lead to a global food crisis. But the fallout doesn't stop there. If this meteor were to strike the ocean, the consequences would be even more catastrophic. The impact could trigger massive tsunamis, waves reaching unimaginable heights, racing across the ocean at the speed of a jet plane. Coastal cities would stand no chance, swept away in a matter of minutes, the impact could also trigger seismic activity, even in places that are usually quiet. Earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, landslides, the Earth would be in turmoil. And all this chaos could last for months, even years. The dust cloud, the tsunamis, the seismic activity, all these would have a profound effect on life on Earth. Entire species could be wiped out, ecosystems would be disrupted, and the human population would face challenges like never before. The world as we know it would be changed forever. But could humanity survive? We'll delve into that in our next chapter. For now, let's remember that while the scenario we've painted is grim, it's a reminder of our place in the universe. We're just a small part of a vast cosmos, susceptible to forces far beyond our control. In the face of such a disaster, would humans stand a chance? It's a chilling question, isn't it? But let's consider it. Human beings are remarkably adaptable creatures. We've survived ice ages, volcanic eruptions, and yes, even meteor impacts in our planet's history. So, how might we fare against a bus-sized meteor? Firstly, we have technology on our side. Underground bunkers, for instance, could offer immediate protection from the initial impact and subsequent fallout. These structures, built deep within the Earth, are designed to withstand extreme events, 
providing a safe haven for those lucky enough to reach them in time. But what then? That's where long-term food storage comes into play. Preserved food and water supplies could sustain survivors for months if not years, while the world above recovers. It's certainly not a luxurious existence but it's survival. Moreover there's the human trait of adaptability. As a species we've learned to live in the harshest of climates from the scorching deserts to the icy poles. If a meteor impact were to drastically alter our climate it's feasible that we could adapt to these new conditions given time. But it's not just about humans. Life, in its myriad forms, has shown an incredible ability to bounce back from mass extinctions. Over millions of years, countless species have been wiped out, only for new ones to take their place in the grand tapestry of life. It's a testament to the resilience of life itself. So, to answer our question, yes, there's a chance. It would be a daunting, grueling test of our resilience and resourcefulness, but survival is a possibility. So, while a bus-sized meteor hitting Earth would be a catastrophe, it's not necessarily the end of the world, but it's certainly something we'd prefer to avoid. 